Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2020 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. <music> El Salvador has officially crowned the representative for Miss Universe 2020 and it is Vanessa Velasquez. But before we proceed, don't forget to follow her on her own Instagram account at vanevelasquez1 to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2020 pageant and her Instagram handle is available at the bottom part of the screen. Also, don't forget to follow me on my personal Instagram account which is at I am Alvin Cibetero, or like my Facebook page which is Analyzing Pageants with Alvin Cibetero in Facebook or by subscribing to my YouTube channel for more pageant updates. Also, if you want to support my channel, you can do so through my PayPal account or you can just send me an email and all of those descriptions are available at the bottom part of the screen. And now, Vanessa is 24 years old and she's got her degree in marketing communications. Now, let's talk about her national pageant performances. For the swimsuit round, I wasn't really a huge fan of her overall makeup and styling. There were two different swimsuit videos of her that I saw and I like her styling more when she wore the black swimsuit, which I will be posting right here, rather than the blue one, which I believe was on the finals. I feel like she looked more stunning in black with well-polished look. I feel like everything is too much on the blue one. Now, I would I can say that her downfall is possibly going to be her styling. So she really needs to make sure to pick the perfect one for her. However, when it comes to her catwalk and her figure, beautiful. She walks great, her body looks amazing, and her turns are flawless. I like that. And if it can be polished even more, she could be outstanding in that area. But then again, it would still be useless if the styling is all over the place. So I really hope that they will be, you know, trying some more different looks for her. And at the end of the at the end of all this training and preparation, they could be able to find the styling and looks that will be perfect for her when they send her to Miss Universe 2020. For the evening gown, I was okay with it. She carried it so well and so confidently, but it will not be the type of gown that I would want to see for her in the Miss Universe pageant. But what I noticed is that she would be great with a gown that she can play along on stage because she can nail it. She needs to make sure that she can do it perfectly. I mean, she needs to make sure that she can execute the movements, whatever it is, 100%. Because just by looking at her personality and the way she carried that gown it feels to me like she is the kind of woman who loves to perform and showcase her skills in carrying gowns which is why I think a playful gown would be perfect for her but again as what I repeat it needs perfect execution I believe she is a decent contender from El Salvador. I have watched some of her, of her videos in Instagram and she looked amazing. She speaks confidently and I have seen a video where she spoke in Spanish, English, and French. But I'm not sure how fluent she is in other languages because it was just a short greeting. Although, I am still happy to hear those. So I'm hoping to see some more improvements for her in the next weeks and months to come. Another commentary is that... I have seen a lot of photos of her in her Instagram account, but my concern is some of her photos looked really, really beautiful and super, super beautiful, but it feels like two different people when I'm watching her in motion. So I'm not sure what's happening with the professional photos. I'm not sure if it's highly edited, but I would prefer a photo that truly reflects her natural beauty, her natural look without editing too much because she's amazing. She looked beautiful in motion and that's what's important. I'm just a little bit disappointed when I saw some of her photos. It's super beautiful. I have to say it's really, really beautiful. But when I look in motion, she also looked beautiful in motion. It's just it seems like they are two different persons, so I wish they would try to work on that one and delivered something that truly reflects on what her beauty truly is. Okay, I'm not saying it negatively, I just wanted to give a constructive comments about that. Well, anyway, El Salvador is in the Americas, and here's my current ranking for the Americas. 
Number 10 is Ecuador. I'll put El Salvador at number 9 as of the moment. Number 8 is the Dominican Republic. Number 7 is Curaçao. 6 for Panama. 5 for Puerto Rico. 4 Venezuela. 3 Nicaragua. Number 2 is Canada. But my current number 1 is Brazil. Julia Gama. And this ranking is currently based on my most updated leaderboard, which was my third leaderboard for the Miss Universe 2020 pageant. If you have not seen my third leaderboard, you need to check it out. It's already available on my YouTube channel. Also, if you wanted to check my reviews of the other candidates or the candidates from other regions, all of my individual reviews are also available on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out as well. So right now, I would love to know your thoughts about El Salvador. I mean, do you notice the same thing about the photos and the videos that I was talking about earlier? And I would love to know your thoughts about it. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.